Well, good afternoon my fellow Drifter Maniacs, it's Richie's Weekend Workshop. So what have I been up to this week? Well I've been quite a busy boy, check out this stuff. So I've got those videos to work on editing over the weekend, but they should be up in the next few days. So if you're not a subscriber, you want to watch those, then please do hop on board and subscribe. Anyway, what about going on in the workshop this weekend? As ever, I would say any comments or questions you've got, any suggestions for any mods, uh, then please do ask away or have your suggestions in the comment section below this video. First of all, we've got my Traxxas C Revo VXL. Well, I've been a busy boy and I've gone and fitted purple springs to my uh, Traxxas E Revo VXL. So, what's the big deal there, Richie? Most saying. I've also fitted 60 weight uh, shock oil at the same time, uh, both front and rear on it. You're wondering why I'm holding this in my hand. As the just keen eye amongst you will spot it's missing one key part, which is the uh, the top sort of clip retainer on there. Because when I fit the new shock, when I fit the uh, shocks back on, I was out testing the thing. This top part unscrewed itself didn't pull out seems to have just unscrewed itself and of course when this came off the clip that was held on there got fired off into the middle of nowhere by the spring so the back end of the car end up sagging down like that so I've had to go out this morning and I've got a new part so I'm going to install that back on there and hopefully we'll be back up and running with the trucks to see Revo by the end of the day. The irony being the Revo is out of action but I didn't actually bust anything on it. Well next up I've got the Excel SMT10 project car so what's going on with this? Let's have a closer look. This is the uh, existing plastic uh, drive shaft casing on it and I've from my metal one has finally arrived from China so I'm in the process of swapping everything out from that into this and uh, fit it on the back end of the car. This week I've been out this morning and ordered some new wheels for the SMT10 as I've uh, successfully managed to totally strip the hex on the inside of it. this one and this one's looking a bit shaky as well so new wheels are ordered on there but uh, looks quite something taken apart I have to say. Anyway that should be done in fairly short order and if the wheels arrive uh, by next weekend then I should get a uh, success run in for that one. Can't wait to see what this is going to achieve when it gets its full potential there on 6S. I'm actually thinking of putting some weight in the front because with 6S power, it's actually wanting to lift off the ground. Okay, well next up, I've got the Traxxas Fortec 2.0 VXL. If you saw the video earlier on this week, this thing, unbelievably tough. I lost control, or oh, well, the thing went off backwards. 89 miles an hour, so it probably went off the road doing about 80. Anyway, following that 89 mile an hour crash, let's have a quick look and see how the car's done. Well, besides being very dusty, the car escaped pretty much unscathed. Now on that crash, the battery tray actually managed to pop loose and both of the uh, the two batteries completely fired away out the car. But other than that, everything looks, fingers crossed, to be in one piece. I've gone through and already and tightened everything. Nothing appears to be loose, anything like that. Fit some new foam tires on the back because I think I might have flat spotted uh, the others under braking. What I found is, if I was absolutely hitting the brakes hard as good which you would think you would do on those speed runs I think the thing was actually skidding because when I used up and I was only doing about half brake three quarter brake the car was actually stopping faster than when I was on full brake I hope that makes uh, sense to people out there uh, the ESC had also come unstuck from its uh, base during that um, uh, run but that's stuck down again so that's nice and we're already all set to uh, go I do have some uh, 25 sure uh, foam tyres on order specifically designed for uh, drag or softer compound designed for drag racing that's in order that I can get on the power a bit earlier on uh, given the limited room that I found but fingers crossed I found a new speed spot this week more to come on that one and next up we've got just like a nice to do project it's my Red Cat Everest Gen 7 Pro it's about me talking about it for weeks I am finally fitting the white stickers over this July the 4th holiday weekend so everything's locking up you think until everything looks down uh, this is my uh, Traxxas UDR, uh, this is the one part everybody said would fail and it has failed, the rear trailing arm on there, uh, they're about 14 bucks a pair 
uh, for the two of them so I've got some of those on order but I've also got aluminum ones uh, on order from uh, China which Steve OD uh, recommended I'll get, get the aluminum ones Richie before the plastic one breaks uh, so when I actually went out and ordered the aluminum ones before I even drove the car um, but uh, a week into it and uh, we took a, I took a bit of a bang sideways actually uh, rather than taking a heavy hit down on the thing so it seemed to be more the side impact that's actually caused that to uh, pop but uh, fingers crossed nothing else uh, looks damaged on there so that should be a relatively simple repair but we shall see and lastly as ever the big boy Losi XLE uh, got my parts on it in order to uh, mend that front suspension on there at the same time I happened to notice one of the little rubber gaiters had come off so I've been waiting around this week for some of those to come in but I got those so uh, Sunday afternoon job that should all be done so there we go, that's what I've got going on in the workshop this weekend. So a uh, busy holiday weekend, it's, it's the 4th of July coming up here, so it's a slightly elongated weekend for most of us over here. Speaking of which, I hope to have found a new speed spot, which hopefully I might go out early morning on 4th of July and run this bad boy, the Fortec on 6S again. I've got some new gearing to try out, as one of you had very kindly contributed and said you thought the 5700 KV might be struggling a little bit. Um, with, a, with a stop gearing on a car in here. So I've bought another couple of pinions to try over this holiday weekend on the thing. Anyway, any comments or questions on any of the cars, guys, uh, that you might have, then please do ask away. And as ever, if you like this video, then please do share, and by all means, consider subscribing. We hope you liked this video. If you did, please click on the circle image to subscribe. And if you hit subscribe, then don't forget to hit that little notifications bell next to 